welcome back to the bedrock guide and here we are on episode four last episode we did some caving we got some supplies there's a creeper back there he better not blow me up and at the very end we showed resource roulette with blue jay if you didn't see that episode I don't want the shield on me anymore. If you didn't see that episode, definitely go back and check it out. It was a good one. Also, Blue Jay and I are going to do a stream day like opener on Sunday, November the 1st on Twitch. Blue Jay will be on at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then I'll be on at 10 p.m. right after him, Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you guys find the links below to our uh, Twitch channels and make sure that you follow. And hopefully, hopefully we'll see a lot of you guys there for our opening weekend. It will be both of our first stream on the server. We are not streaming before this date, so make sure you attend. It'll be a special one. So today's episode is going to be something that I think a lot of us have problems with, and that's completing builds. Hit me up in the comments section right now if you've ever started a build or made something and not finished or decorated it. I know I got my hand raised right now, that's me. Um, one of the things that I love seeing from other Minecraft worlds are completed builds though. They just make the world look and feel a lot more complete. So today's focus will be tips on how you can take something kind of like this area right here that it, it's purposeful, but it doesn't really look great. And we're gonna actually transform this into a complete build that actually looks like it has some sort of purpose in almost like a real world application. And it's not just a whole bunch of like crop throw up all over the land. So let's get kicking. But before we get started on that, we need to do something special. And it is time to reveal the names of the pink and brown sheep. So I'm gonna go ahead, I need to make an anvil. So I'm gonna make three blocks of iron right there. I have other iron ingots already on me and I can use that to make my anvil. The anvil is what you use to do a few things such as repairing items or combining items together. We'll plop it right there, uh, but it can also be used for name tags. So I'm going to ever so secretly go ahead and update these names and we are going to apply them. We got Pinky and the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Any of you guys that watch those old 90s cartoons, you probably remember Animaniacs. Uh, Pinky, I, I kind of liked it. I was leaning that way. But then when I found the brown sheep, it just made sense to do Pinky and the brain. If you don't know who they are, maybe I'll put an infographic or not an infographic. I'll put an image or something on right now. But Pinky and the brain were totally awesome. They were hilarious. And now our baby pink sheep is all grown up. I need to know what are we going to do with the pink baby pink sheep? Do we keep it? Do we name it? If we do name it, what do we name it? Or do we take it to Blue Jay? I don't really know what to do. Maybe it could be a gift to him. Uh, but anyways, we need to move on with getting prepped for our project. And one of my first tips for you guys finishing your builds is actually getting supplied up. You need to get a lot of different materials that you may feel inspired by or want to use for your build. So like I've been over here collecting some spruce wood and maybe more importantly, some spruce saplings. That way I could take those back and plant them to get more spruce wood. Here's another one. Um, and then also we'll go and I think I want to get some dark oak as well. So we're going to kind of check that out too. Um, my tip though is to not, ooh, Blue Jay delivered a package. We're going to do that right after this. Um, one of my tips though, don't like completely deforest the whole area. Uh, cause then your area kind of looks ugly if you ever come back to it. So, um, yeah, we got to ruin another portal there. Um, so don't chop down everything. Just chop down a little bit of what you need. Get enough saplings to take back to your main base, which ours is like right over there. And then uh, that way you can kind of plant stuff and not have to worry about it. And ooh, there's our dark oak right there. For those of you that did not see it, me and Blue Jay played our first round of resource roulette. Make sure if you, first of all, go check out that episode. Uh, but second of all, uh, we do this at the end of every episode or almost every episode. And there will be one at the end of this episode. Make sure you stay on to the end because you won't want to miss who's got to get what for who. It's kind of crazy, kind of wild, and kind of fun. Unfortunately, our winnings this time are not that big. We got four iron ingots. I'm going to talk to Blue Jay about upping the multiplier for that. But uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. I'll see you guys at the end of the episode for that one. While over here cutting dark oak trees down, I found something very special. It was a horse and we've seen horses before, but I really liked the way this one looked. So it made me feel like I should save him. So I had an apple on me, so I fed him an apple so he won't despawn, but I had to run back and get my, my saddle and my lead. I don't know where he went. 
he was in this area but he could have wandered off kind of far i'm going to do some looking around to see if we can find him and just as i cut the clip there he is here let's feed him another apple there you go buddy um so we need to tame this horse we do so by getting on him and then up oh, all right, cool. We tamed him right away. Sometimes he'll throw you off. You got to keep click, clip, uh, clicking him to get on him. Uh, we're going to shift or duck click to put the saddle on. Now we can ride him. And he feels like a pretty fast horse too. Horses have different speeds, different jump heights, and different levels of health. It looks like his health is really high. His jump height's really low, but his speed's kind of fast. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take him back to our base area. Here we go, we got our horse and we're gonna actually drop him off here. Now what we can do is we can click him with a lead that we get from those oh so wonderful wandering traders. <laughs> we can click that on the fence here and your horse will stay put, he can't go anywhere. If you don't put the lead on him, I'm sorry guys, if you turn around, by the time you turn back around, he, he would be all the way over in like Blue Jay's base. Now we're actually gonna do something special here. We are going to let Wraith, who is my server administrator, um, he set up like everything for this server and as my highest level patron pick the name of the horse But I want you guys to drop him suggestions in the comment section down below Maybe if he likes one of those enough, he'll pick one of those, but it's up to him I'm gonna let him decide what the name's gonna be Also, maybe you guys don't know a patron is someone who donates money monthly via uh, Patreon to support content creators like myself blue jay and many others across not just gaming but a lot of different platforms um, if you want to become a patron and get access to my patron servers uh, and special access in my discord server consider dropping a donation the link is down in the description box below and i'll try to remember to put a link up at the top of your screen right now too so let's start with talking about some tips for like what do you do with this area how do you figure out what you can do and just not sit here scratching your head trying to figure it all out um and for me it's about working with the area that you have which is kind of the way we started right like this was kind of dug down into the ground i dug it out a little bit more to fit more crops but for the most part we worked with the area we had we have this little lake right here etc cetera, etc cetera. so some of the ideas that i have to work with this area more i kind of like that it's set down into the ground a little bit it's kind of neat so i think we're going to continue that we're going to work with it so some of the things that i was kind of thinking of was we may expand the lake area a little bit not a lot but a little bit so we might dig out around that some we're going to get rid of all the crops that are here now so i'm going to have to just get rid of this whole area we're going to expand this out a couple blocks more just so we can fit more crops in the area i think i, I want to keep like the natural shape to it that it has though still we need to cover that up and we're gonna we're gonna kind of make a way for there to be some type of structure to this we'll have like some way that looks like this is where you go in and out over here and probably over there the animal pins are gonna have to move because those are crowded in the area they're too close i was kind of thinking maybe i like dig out this hillside and like put them over there maybe i have an idea of a special plan for pinky and the brain which i'm not going to share with you guys you guys will have to wait till the end to see what that's going to look like and we're going to kind of pretty up the area now i like to do things in layers so the first layer is kind of what i was talking about the layout we need to get a general layout of how things are going to look and where they're going to go after that we're going to bring in the structure so things like fences or walls stairs stuff like that that's kind of like structural and sets the tone for how the rest of the build's going to look um, after that we'll add in like some trees some grass maybe fill in some like additional blocks to the structure just to kind of make it look prettier and look better and then the fourth and final layer is kind of your finishing touches and details like are you going to have lanterns in different areas uh, do you want to mix up blocks in different areas just to give it some more height or texture or whatever it may be maybe pathways and that sort of thing so we're going to go ahead and start layering this thing in right now and i'm going to start out with ripping everything up <laughs> with everything ripped out we need to talk about and work on the structure part of things and i kind of have a plan one of the things that don't want to happen since we're doing this right by water is every time i come over here i, I don't want to just fall into the water um it could be a little annoying the crops could fall in there etc etc but there is a little trick we can do because a lot of these crops need to be close to water especially the sugarcane has to be right by it we can actually put a stair right here just like that and that stair is what you call waterlogged it's actually it kind of counts as a water block at the same time 
So what we can do with that there is even though that's technically like this isn't water, I'm standing on it, it counts as water to the game. So it allows me to put crops there. So I kind of want to border, if not all of, a lot of this area with those stairs and put some type of railing on it. So in doing that, the area would look kind of small, right? If we just had stairs all the way around there, especially this one, like it wouldn't be any water at all. So I think what I would like to do is expand out these little ponds some or maybe change their shape some and then we'll actually expand this area out that way some and that area out that way some actually i think it's probably where we'll start let's kind of see how much area we can get from doing this and taking it close to the hillside but not all the way up to it i don't think so our land has actually changed by quite a bit i expanded this pond out i expanded that pond out i got a pretty good shape to it it's not it's still kind of natural, but it does have some sharp edges. Although I guess technically like those edges were kind of there before anyways. We filled in some holes around just to kind of get things looking a little neater. And we moved our, our stuff out the way because you need to get yourself like room to actually do things. So now it's about figuring out some of the structure. So I, I brought a crafting table with us. We're going to pop that down. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to make probably like a whole bunch of stairs. So we got 64 stairs there. And then I would like to make some dark oak stairs as well, like this. Now, uh, one thing I would like to point out, one of the tech, one of the packs that me and Blue Jay are using here is called More Stairs. Uh, you can find it in the description box down below. Um, you guys probably won't, you guys will have six wood to four stairs. Uh, this is just strictly like a me and Blue Jay are part-time content creators thing, and it would take us a lot longer to get all the wood that we need. So... Uh, we do have the like more stairs pack that we use. So anyways, what I would like to do is first, I want to get a little bit better idea for this structure part and then start with the sugar cane that we're going to place down and then work out from there. So we're going to actually go through and we're going to place uh, our spruce wood down. I'm going to get all of the spruce wood down and then we will actually going to round the corner like this. And after we get the spruce down, we'll actually mix in some dark oak too, because dark oak just kind of looks like it's wet, right? So if we mix some of those in, that's a good way to add detail. And it's easy enough for us to do while we add in the, the spruce stairs or like maybe immediately after uh, just to get a good look and make sure everything kind of has that look that we're going for. So let's go ahead and get these in. So now that we got our detailing in around the edge here where we got some wood that kind of looks like it's wet and we got our sugar cane going around now it's time to actually figure out some sort of border around this thing and we could have gone with just fences but i thought using something like trap doors would look better so we can do something like this guy right here and then this will make a really cool looking border i probably should have put this in before we did the sugar cane but it's fine now I can't like get this piece right here so we're actually gonna have to kind of cheat it what we'll do is we will go like right here whoops and put that up and it's it's kind of slightly off it's like it's off the block instead of on the block but it looks fine it looks cool and we'll actually border this all the way around and it's gonna look really nice there you have it folks right there blue jay games was blown up by a creeper i was in voice chat with him when he ha when it happened and all he yelled was no and he muted his microphone yep that's how he does it guys you might want to watch his guide series to see what happened so for a build this early in the game this is what your structure complete stage may look like it's simple right we don't need to go crazy this is a starter area but we want it to look good. So we kind of have that structure, right? We got the structure around this. We have some sort of structure to our crops and we have structure going around the edge here and everything is starting to look good. We're at the point now where we need to add in those little details. I got a couple ideas for what those details are gonna be. I need to get some supplies for them, uh, but we're gonna grab them and we're gonna start applying all of that to what we're working on. And the next layer is pretty much done. We got like a lot of the details in here. We got grass, we got trees. The hillside looks really cool. We went with the double tall grass in a lot of places. I put some trees back here and even added like a little field of trees here, which still has some growing. So I thought it would bring a little bit of, I guess, like life to the area. Now we're about to move on to the final like details step, the like finishing touches, but I wanted to do something first. It's going to be kind of fun and it's going to have to do with me and Blue Jays uh, get together here in a little while. What we're going to do here is come to the crafting table. We got our sugar cane, which we are actually going to convert into paper. Let's actually go ahead and just convert a lot of that over and I want to make a map. 
um, this map we want to take of our area and I think something to be really cool for me and Blue Jay to do just to kind of keep tabs on each other while we play is I'm going to make a map and make a copy of the map in my area and then he's going to do the same to his area and then what we'll do is every so often we'll update our maps and then we can see what the other person's area is actually looking like so if I open this map in this area I created it I've not opened it I'm going to click to open it you'll see that this is what the area looks like, which is actually good because that encompasses our entire base. We can fit it all on one map. We don't have to split it between multiple maps. And then as we make progress, we'll, we'll open our map up in this uh, area and then Blue Jay will get to check it out and kind of see what we're up to and vice versa. So I'm going to make a second map to bring to him and I'm going to make a copy of this map. That way I have a map and he has one. Now to make that copy of our map, we can do one of two things. We can do this on the crafting table by putting our map and an empty map in there and we'll get two of them. You can also do the same thing in a cartography table, which you can make with a couple pieces of paper and a few planks. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that and it's gonna copy the map. So we're gonna actually go ahead and take both of these maps out. Now we have two copies of the same map. So whenever we walk or open this map, this map will also update, which will be perfect for Blue Jay because he'll get that. And then what we'll do is we will make two empty maps for him. One, two, and we will take those to Blue Jay so he could do the same thing for us. Ah, go away. Whew. And then one last thing before I got attacked was to show you guys, you can take a map and put it in an item frame. So I can put this item frame here. I can put our map right there. I don't know why I have two maps on me and then boom now this will kind of sit here on the wall and then whenever we want to update it we can just come punch it off run over there update it or actually we can just punch it off right here and update it because it's within the same like area and boom we're all done so it'll make things nice and easy all you have to do is do that every so often now our next bit is that I want to go ahead and craft a campfire. We're gonna take this campfire over to the bees that we've had over here and I wanna use them. And we'll probably go over bees in further detail later. This is just gonna be a quick like overview. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this campfire, hopefully not punch a bee, cause that'd be terrible. We're gonna put the campfire right below this bee nest. When we do that, these bees will not get mad, hopefully, if we do this. Okay, sure. And then we got ourselves three honeycomb. And what I want to do is I want to get a lot of honeycomb because I would like to put some beehives over here, which we'll talk about at the end. But it's going to be it's going to be a really awesome thing that we have going. Also, I got these shears. I want to use these shears as well to get some leaves so we can get some bushes going. So I'm going to just do that from the back shears. So actually, when you hit the uh, hit the leaves here. It gives you the actual leaf block and we're going to use those to make some bushes around just to do some of those final details. And there we go. Our work on the garden area is finally done. We got the bunches of trees. We got the detailed pathway coming through and leading across. Uh, we got the crops in. We got lighting around. It is looking good. I want to jump down really quick and show you guys a couple final bits. You will see we do have beehives down here. These bees will fly around periodically and they will uh, sprinkle bone meal on the crops to make them grow faster, just making our farm a little bit more efficient as well as they just kind of look cool. It's nice having them fly around. It makes the place look more alive. I did also bring some fish down here. All you got to do is take a bucket, go underwater with the bucket and then scoop up the fish. It's pretty easy. And I added in this little piece right here too, where you can actually, there's like it connects the two together i thought that was pretty like neat the fish can kind of swim back and forth between the two just another one of those little things that makes the place a little bit more interesting than maybe it would have otherwise been we got the jack-o-lanterns around we got the uh the lanterns down on the ground too i think overall this place looks really good um next episode just so you guys know what we're going to open with is we're going to open with i believe a time lapse of me doing this to the animal pen area and doing it to another little special idea that I have too for, for these guys. So definitely check that out. We'll probably do it in time-lapse form just so you guys can see the whole process go through beginning to end. Uh, but for now, we actually need to go meet Blue Jay because it's time for some resource roulette. Yeah. Blue Jay. Hi. It's that time again, sir. I know. I'm excited. But before we start, I, I got, got off easy last time, but you are not. What? What? I got I got something for you. OK, first what do you have for me. Um, Here's some pumpkin pie. 
We're being festive. <gasps> Ooh. Um, happy Thanksgiving. There's some jack o lanterns too. Decorate around your Thank place. Thank you. You need to get festive. <gasps> Um, I love it. Thank you. I will use these in the next episode. Woo. And then also, um, me and you talked about this before, but we haven't done anything with mm -hmm. it. Here's two empty maps <gasps> and a map of my base. Yes. I've already explained to my people what we're doing with it. All right, Blue Jay, let's do this. You went first last time. Hopefully that wasn't what made you lose. I'm going to go ahead and click the button here. I'm going to be mad if you get a higher number than me this time. <laughs> what did you get? I got a seven. Lucky number seven. <sighs> click it. Click it. Click it. Big money. Big money. Big money. <laughs> I cheated. I just looked in there. <laughs> he got a one. <laughs> we'll come back. Hey, look, he came back. Woohoo. Yay. I can't believe I lost two two stinking times in a row. Okay. Click the fan okay, picks. Here Click we the go. fan picks. Fan pick for Prowl. whoop de woo Here we go. Prowl's fan pick for this week is Andesite times six. Ooh, I could use some Andesite. Okay. Oh, which one are we taking out? Because you have, you have, you've got a full dropper here. It wasn't. I swear it wasn't full a second ago. It is now. Um, take something out, Prowl. Um, um, I'll take out the carrots because I got carrots now. Okay, here we go. Small money, small money. Let Blue Jay off easy again. What'd you get? You got... <laughs> what? <laughs> stone times six. Easy. Okay, remember that's regular stone. That's fine. That's Multiplier. fine. Here we go. Stone times six. Multiplier of... What do we got? Four. I owe you 24 stone. That'll take me about four minutes. Okay, cool. awesome. I'll take the stone because I need some for my detailing. Awesome. I, I got you, bro. I got you. Well, guys, that is it. We win again. And boy, have we transformed this place to look amazing. You may notice that my horse here does have diamond horse armor now. I did find some in a chest, which I'll go over where that chest came from in a future episode. But for now, I think we're going to go ahead and call it a day. It has been super good. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. And the response from the series has been great. Oh, also, we're going to start a tip of the day. Uh, coming up in the next episode where I take your favorite pick from the previous episode and we give it out at the end of the next episode. So make sure you drop me some tips. I love hearing them and you guys have a good one. I'm going to ride off into the sunset now. Goodbye.